You could do a shot glass with this one. I'm pregnant. I've got cheesy zucchini. Uh, cover in peanut butter. Mm -mm. Look at chicken drumstick hip that I made. She's <laughs> gonna be doing flips. She's been going out for like two hours. Abby. <laughs> Do you want all the layers? <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to my channel if you guys are new or welcome to my channel if you guys are a returning subscriber. I'm just going to be filming, ow, that's so itchy, what the heck. I'm just going to be filming what I eat in a day or two depending on my footage. We'll have to turn around, ow, and see. But I've got a client coming in half an hour, so I want you to scoff down something. I'm going to pop in a reel of what I made last night and um, later on when I show you guys my slow cooker, it's currently cooking. Um, I will show you guys a recipe on how I made this slow cooker chicken drumstick um, recipe that I have. But I also have like a slow cooker chicken drumstick recipe that I'm going to make. The bulk of my ingredients, two baby carrots, one celery stalk, this whole little bunch of asparagus, 1.4 kilos of chicken drumsticks, a baby potato, this is a charisma potatoes. I'll put about four mushrooms in there, onion, garlic if I haven't said that. One of these, I'll keep his updated if I put two, chicken stock, veggie stock, cumin, paprika, oregano, mint, and a tablespoon of sweet pepper paste into the slow cooker. And then that should get going by, you know, night time. Okay, veggies are all in. I added four drumsticks, so I'm going to freeze the other four. And then the potato, the onion, the carrot, the mushrooms. And then I added just the tips of the celery, including the leaves, because it's got more nutrients in it. And it'll give it like a natural veggie stock. And then and now just adding all of my little spices, spice mixes that I have over here. Okay, because my um, crock pot or like the slow cooker is like really, really small, it's, I don't even know how many liters this is to be honest, but I, I'm guessing it's about four or five liters, I think, I'm not too sure. But what I did was, I'm still gonna add the minced garlic in here. I created a sauce using all of my dry herbs and spices and then added hot water. Reason for this, and I'm gonna add this one and this one. Reason for this is because I wanted to all marry each other and then put it into the, the slow cooker so it can like evenly you know go over everything and then i'll add more water into my like slow cooker and then um yeah let it to cook all right my minced garlic and a tablespoon of the pepper paste is in there and it smells really really good so what i'm gonna do is literally take this i am gonna add more water all over that And then put more water in, let that cook. I filled the water up to the max line. That's how it looks. The lid is on, on low for seven hours. So I will check like this throughout the day as well. Right now, meal number one, it's about 11.30 p.m. I mean, I am, I'm going to have a client come down for training and then another client after that so i really don't have time to do anything but what i'm going to do is obviously i did meal prep yesterday i made my lunch i made a four ingredient zucchini noodle kind of tofu um dish hi guys i've been training clients all day so i thought what a better way to have a macro friendly zucchini bowl recipe that i can post up here for you guys and if you guys do use it please tag me in your story so i can reshare them on mine i'll leave all of the macros at the end of the reel so enjoy zucchini tofu some thai spicy sauce and cheese you want to add your tofu into a wok and just simmer that if you don't have a spiralizer that's fine you can use this bad boy and then you want to add your zucchini in, and then add in your sauce and there we go that's all ready super easy four ingredient cheesy 
noodle high protein low carb goodness i will leave the macros on the screen and if you guys try this recipe don't forget to tag me and follow me for more healthy recipes with like marion's kitchen seasoning in there like some spicy thai thing anyway i'm gonna sit down and eat that while i'm eating that i'm gonna boil some eggs for extra protein so i can snack throughout the day and getting straight into it i'll just be filming my meals for this video so if that's something that you don't enjoy i'm so sorry wait for the next three days i'll definitely have a vlog up but other than that let's get into it your girl is currently let me show you my tummy currently 22 weeks preggos and i'm loving it but let's show you my meal number one we've got cheesy zucchini noodles i'm so excited so freaking excited i'm going to heat this up straight away and have this bad boy right now for a little number one. And then while, by the way, four in the morning, I didn't have any breakfast, unfortunately, but I did have a little bit of a cup of a coffee, caramel coffee, just put half a shot of this bad boy in there. And then I went straight to the shops for eggs. I'm gonna boil this, I'll boil seven. Four, no, we'll boil six, five, six, eight. Yeah, went straight to the shops, running around. Oh shit. And then came back home and I have a client in half an hour. So we've got our eggs. Let's boil her up. Alrighty, my loves. It's currently 3.15. I need to go get ready. I don't really have time to eat anything. I'm going to show you guys a little update of my crockpot recipe. But at the moment, I'm just snacking on a collagen balm, the peanut butter flavor, and in a bowl, I've just got some PB2 with a bit of maple syrup. And then what I do is I grab my bar, cover it in peanut butter, Mm -mm. It is so good. Yum. So I have to wash this hair, blow dry it, get ready to put my makeup on, and go to our friend's house. I will see you guys at dinner time. But before I go, let me show you an update on my slow cooker recipe. I need to I need to stir it anyway, so. So far, it is looking good. Yum. Good morning. It is now the next day. Yesterday, I didn't film um, what we ate for dinner because we had to go to what's it called? Um, a family's kind of like a ceremony to get married religiously, culturally, whatever you call it. But I will pop a little insert of the dinner that we did have. And I just pack, like, I just put away the um, slow cooker chicken drumstick that I made. It made about, let's say, six serves. It made like two whole tubs full. And then we've got some pasta here with boiled potatoes. So we can have them throughout the week. And Ned can have it for work. And I can like pull apart the drumstick and just put into sandwiches and stuff. Um, but I think tonight we are having burgers, if I'm not sure. Ashkam, are we still making burgers? Yeah. Beef? Yeah. It's distracting. Yeah, so last night Ned said that, well, I 
offered him if he wanted to get Hungry Jacks because it's like more healthier of a burger. I said like, if you want to get Hungry Jacks, go get Hungry Jacks. But he's like, do you know what? I'll go get GYG um, and then we can make burgers on our own. So we decided tonight, rather than having the chicken um, drumstick, because he honestly hates um, having t the same meal twice in a, in a, in a row. So I'll put that for his lunch and then for tonight we'll make some beef burgers. I'm thinking I really want to replicate the Big Mac, the Big Mac uh, burger from Macca's. So I'm thinking I will make that. We've got pickles, we've got the burger sauce, we've got cheese and the mint. So I'm just taking that out now and I'm getting our breakfast ready for the morning. I do have a client today and then we're doing something after that. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so I'm making breakfast for Ned and I now. I've got some pumpkin mashed. Well, I'm going to mash it. And then I have chicken and some diced up vegetables. And then for Ned, I'm going to do like the rest of these nuggets. And then um, I'll pan fry them with a bit of cheese and a boiled take. But let me show you. I'll just do like a little bit of a B-roll because he likes to watch TV or play PlayStation in the morning when he wakes up. So I thought, let me pop you guys up set you guys over here and then you can watch me make breakfast and then later on I'm gonna go train before my client comes train her and then I think we're gonna to go to the shop so I'm not too sure Okay, it is snack time. I am going to have, I had my client uh, leftover smoothie remnants that I made, so I made too much and I had some of that. Um, but I'm having these ones right now before we head out to my mother-in-law's. And it's just basically like little crackers with some cream cheese. So I thought that would be good. And I'll probably just snack on some olives as well. So that's gonna be my little snack for the road. This is our current situation. I'm not going to be able to talk about watching Love Island, but we went shopping, came back home, decided to do the buns. I will pop in a reel after it, but essentially these are the breads. Normal beef mince. We just put one egg, pepper, salt, and garlic powder. We're frying some onions, and I'm going to leave you guys literally over here for you to watch that. I know the lighting's shit, but Ned and I are going to give this a little taste test. They're the dessert pots from Coast. Chocolate and salted caramel flavored. <laughs> All right, so they come like that in a glass, um, glass little cup. And they look nice, so let's give it a go. So she puts the fucking thing By the way, Abby's been obsessed with that ball. Ned put treats in it. <laughs> She's been going at it for like two hours. Abby. <laughs> and it's zoomed in. Do you want all the layers? Mm. Or do you want the top layer? I'll taste the first. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll go older ones. I'm not gonna eat it till you eat it. Why? Am I a guinea pig? <laughs> no, these are nice. You'll like it. <laughs> Is it nice? You'll like it. Get all the layers. Oh, yum. <laughs> I told you you'll like it. I have to replicate this. I'm not a fan of it, but you'll like it. I know your taste buds. Mm. That's huge. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be doing flips. Okay, thing. That's really good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's sponge cake in it. I think the dark part is very rich in um, chocolate. I think yeah. dark part. That bottom layer. Mm -mm. Do you want more? I have one more bite. I'm not. That dark part is not just. A fan of dessert. No, you're all right with just chocolate. I just like chocolate. Have one more because I'm going to put the cup away. I can make a thing. Um, I'm going to use a cup. I'm going to throw away. I'm going to use them. Yeah, yeah. You could do a shot glass or something. I'm pregnant. Coffee shots for your espresso me. Oh, yeah, true. Oh. That's enough. <laughs> 